Hello team, my name is Anshul Behel and I'm a technical marketing manager for the Ansible Automation Platform. In this segment, we'll shift our attention to deploying the Cool Stuff app to the Edge devices. I'm acting as the release manager for the Edge deployments of the Cool Stuff tour. Business is expanding for our Cool Stuff organization after the launch of our website and these are exciting times here. Based on our recent success, we have launched two retail stores for Cool Stuff in Johannesburg and in Dublin which have self-serving kiosks located in them where customers can visit and order items available in the inventory. My job is to make sure that kiosks are always up to date on the inventory available and always have the recent version of the Cool Stuff store running on them. In our Edge deployment workflow, we have automated the configuration and deployment of the Cool Stuff app on these kiosks through Ansible Automation Platform. As an organization, we want to make sure that all these devices are running a standard configuration and we want to reduce the time to deploy IT resources when expanding or relocating. As we have recently updated the CoolSurf application in the previous demo, we, are all, we also want to deploy the new CoolSurf app on these self-serving kiosks. Let us first check what is currently visible on these kiosks. There are currently five kiosks in our Dublin store and three in the Johannesburg one. I have the web addresses of the kiosk number one in Dublin and in Johannesburg visible here. And they are showing that they are out of stock on the Red Hat Fedoras. The image of the Fedora SKU seems off as well and we have new styles of Fedora available now. Let's try to deploy the app on this kiosk with the new image and a refresh stock. We have designed an edge pipeline that updates the app deployment on this self-serving kiosk. I'll trigger this pipeline that starts an anti-ansible automation work. This is the automation controller component of the Ansible automation platform. It acts as the central hub for automation of our kiosk system and can automate multiple types of systems for us. Whether they are on-premise or multi-cloud deployments, it can also automate network and security devices or the devices at the edge in this case. You can divide automation tasks into job and workflow templates. Job templates are Ansible playbooks that hold a set of automation tasks for target systems. And workflow templates are a way of organizing the job templates in a desired sequence. In this case, we have a cool stuff store as deployment workflow that we use for configuring and deploying the app to this kiosk. Our edge pipeline triggers this workflow for automating these kiosks. If we check out the workflow visualizer, we'll see that the job template to configure and deploy the app on Dublin and Johannesburg stores are attached to this workflow template. Ansible playbooks or job templates are idempotent in nature. This means that this automation run will configure all the edge devices in the same manner. And if the configuration on some of the devices is off, it will bring them back to the desired state. If there are new kiosks that are added to the store, this, this will configure them to run the cost of app as well. The automation controller has a concept of dynamic inventories, which we have set up for the Dublin and Johannesburg stores. This means that the automation controller will always be aware of the kiosks present in the Dublin and Johannesburg stores. If we add more kiosks to the store, the automation controller will update the inventory before an automation run to make sure it's configuring and deploying the app on the new systems as well. This is, this is the topology view for the automation mesh. Automation mesh is an overlay network intended to ease the distribution of work across a large and dispersed collection of workers through nodes that, that establish peer-to-peer -peer connection with each other using existing networks. It provides scalability, reliability, and security to global automation happening for the cool stuff organization through its bi-directional communication layer, native pairing capabilities, and TLF, uh, TLS traffic encryption. 
for this deployment model, we want to make sure that the automation is executed close to the Dublin and Johannesburg Chaos devices for a reliable automation. In this topology view, you'll see that the Dublin and Johannesburg stores have their own execution nodes, which helps in scalability and a reliable automation close to these edge devices. We can check the health, health of these execution nodes from here and peering capabilities allows for a reliable automation in scenarios where an execution node is not reachable. It will automatically fall back to the next closest one. We can see that the job templates that have, uh, that have the inventories and in uh, instance groups attached to them. That make sure that each job template will use the closest execution node and automate the target hosts that are in that store. So for the Dublin deployment, we'll see that the we see that the Dublin inventory and the Dublin store instance group or execution node is attached to this job template. This makes sure that execution is happening close to the Dublin node and the devices that are getting automated through this job template are only uh, the Dublin kiosk. As a release manager, I want to get notified through Slack uh, if the Edge deployment pipeline has started and what is its status. For this, we have set up Slack notification message and attached it to a deployment workflow template. This will notify us about the systems that are configured once the job run is completed with their web addresses. Let's see the job runs now. In the job runs, you can see the logs and check if your configuration and deployment of the app on the kiosk happened as we intended. So we can see the logs of what what happened in this um, in this job template run. As we can see, our workflow is finished now. Let's check if there were any new messages on our Slack channel, and also check if the kiosks are updated with the updated in, uh, inventory and the new image of the Fedora. As you can see, the job run configured the kiosk first and deployed the new cool stuff app on the kiosk in Johannesburg and Dublin. We can, by clicking the web addresses of each kiosk, We can see the job run configured all the kiosks. The addresses of the kiosk show that uh, they were updated with the new application because you can see the new Fedora uh, image as well as the new updated stock. I'll hand it back over to Ian for his segment.